What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Kenshi in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to be using, and of course, some fun and easy combos that you can use today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching understands what we're saying. First things first is I wanna state that Kenshi is gonna be an absolute lab monster. Meaning though I'm gonna give you the best basic foundation that I possibly can, he's gonna take a bit more time in training mode to truly master. And why is that you might ask? Kenshi is basically two characters in one. We have Kenshi and we have our down back one special moves that brings out Sento. And now we have me and Sento to work with here. And this is also a stance. So technically Kenshi is a stance character where our specials and even our normals change while in this stance. Call Sento back, it's down back one. And to extend the time we want him, it's down back two. So you're gonna be learning how to play Kenshi without Sento and of course with Sento. So you're literally learning two characters in one. Quick side note about bringing out Sento down back one. You see there are cameo meter is being drained. So the game's saying, hey, we're not gonna let you play with three characters. If you're gonna choose Sento, you're not gonna use your cameo. So that's gonna be a bit of a trade off, right? You can use Kenshi without ever using Sento. That's totally fine. And choose a cameo that works with Kenshi's moveset and then bring out Sento whenever you want to. It's more or less however you wanna play Kenshi. And what cameos you want to use but let's go ahead and simplify everything and start off with the bread and butter for kenshi including his specials and his normal and of course his overhead options we have our down back two special move and that is controllable close far or mid so for far away we want to hold towards our opponent then it hits up but if we hold towards us it'll be close but you can do that in a combo too if you enhance it you get a pop up for a combo so it's a nice little form of a projectile that gave Kenshi to help him zone out if he needs to. And it's an overhead. Plus we have 4-4. Four, four. That's not really a combo starter, but it's a great way to throw your opponent off guard and do 140 damage. Then we have back 2-2. Two, two. And that's also an overhead combo ender. Keep in mind, these normals are without Sento. We'll go over more of that later. One of your staple combo starters is gonna be your forward two, two. And the reason why is your third hit can either be back two or forward two. We can do forward two, two, forward two. Or forward two, two, back two. And that is an overhead. Keep in mind, with Sento out, Sento himself doesn't do any overheads or lows. He's only gonna be doing high mids. So the game's saying, yeah, we're gonna give you Sento, but no crazy ways to mix up your opponent with him. But your normals do change, including your back two. And that's an overhead. Kenshi and Fortune doesn't have amazing low options. You might choose a cameo to help cover that. But we got our down four, down three. With Sento out, we have back one, and that's a nice low. We have forward three. That's a low pop-up. And then our back four. So you can already see the potential in combos and mix-ups when it comes to having Sento out or not. It's just wild, man. Real quick on wake-up options, the best recommendation I have is your back forward two. Because the enhance that you do gain the armor. And here's how that look. Your bread and butter combo starter is gonna be a four, two, two. It's just got great range and can go into specials. You have one, four, one. That is also a low pop-up. And you can do your back forward three after that for combo continuation. You also have your two one strain that cancels into specials. Now let's talk a little bit more about Sento. What does Sento really do? Well, he's got his own normal and he'll follow us. We move forward, he does. We move back, he does. So you can see here, if I press one, he's got his own hit. We press two, we press three, we press four. It's a nice three hit combo for just one input. Again, with Sento out, our back two is an overhead. And yes, not only do Kenshi's normals and specials change when you have Sento out, but even his air combos change with Sento out. So without Sento, we have two main combo routes. We have one, two, two, and two, two, four. And then with Sento, we jump up in the air. We have one, one, two, and two, three, four. You see what I mean about learning two characters? It's crazy. You get your opponent in the air without Sento. You have your down back two enhanced or your back forward three enhanced. And again, without Sento, we have one, two, two in the air or two, two, four. Both are great combos that allow for cameo extension. And then again, with Sento, we have one, one, two in the air. And then we have two, three, four. As you can see, the combos in the air don't dramatically change. It's just the inputs you gotta remember that can take a bit to really memorize. One of my favorite special moves with Sento out is your down back four. It's called teamwork. And yeah, it's bold teamwork, baby. It's a great way to end combos as well. With Sento, our down back three does change as well. It's a rising uppercut that puts us in the air if we enhance it. And a great way to continue combos as well. Not only is your down back four with Sento, the teamwork a great option for combo enders, but if you enhance it, it turns into a projectile where Sento goes forward and just does all the work for you. Another great way to end combos off. A couple noteworthy things about Kenshi specials without Sento. We have our down forward to one. 
It's got a really good range. It's a good hit. You can use it in combos. But the cool thing is if you hold one, you actually run the whole screen and then hit, or you can cancel while running by pressing stance. We have another special move back forward to four. It's a good force push. We're basically becoming a Jedi at this point. But you can also hold that and it has a lot more range. Not quite full screen, but pretty dang close. He's not a zoner, but he's got a lot of options in order to do so. And then when he wants to just rush in, pull out Sento and go absolutely crazy. Kenshi can definitely be a lot to handle, but once you get him down, he's gonna be so worth it. And your opponent's gonna have no idea how to fight you and Sento together. But the hardest battles are won by the strongest warriors. With the basics down, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos to get you started with Kenshi today. Guys, let me know what you think of Kenshi down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.